I'm, I'm very lucky to have this platform that I use and I get around and have my own channel to speak about what's going on. And as people will know, ever since I've been on We Are Tottenham TV and everything, I've been banging on this drum. And it's now getting a lot, a lot of movement. I'm on here to talk about, I've been banging on all the goddamn time. Mm. Okay, so just to let people know, there's a plan, before I start any further, there's a planned protest for the Aston Villa game that I can't get to. It's starting at half past 12 outside the club shop. This is very, very prompt and quick and being arranged now. So that is happening. The two groups you need to keep an eye on are one that we started today, which was called Change for Spurs, which was created. I'm going to give you how quickly this is growing. Change for Spurs started last night, this morning, and it was to try, and Ed, this one isn't the main one, but this is the one to try and explain to people what we're doing. And I'm going to read a statement from us. So this was started yesterday evening. It's at 1,029 followers. This is happening. There is movement. Everyone spoke about the NF, uh, the previous ones. And we'll get on to the, uh, what happened in the last one with old Mr. Sissoko. This is not that. So I'm going to read the statement that has been put out by the group, which is our goal is to unite the Spurs fan base who want change and want peaceful, constructive approach to achieving that change that our beloved football club so desperately now needs. Some of the main goals are listed below. Fans representation on the board. Atmosphere, flags, drums, singing, standing. You do realise, like someone tweeted, in that ground right now, apart from the cockerel on the roof, there's no THFC on the wood seats. There's no banners. There's no The Game Is About Glory, which they had to take down because of the hypocrisy of it all. So this is what they're doing. Identity clear in the staging bowl, like we just said. Logos, branding on seats. History honoured in the stadium, statues and naming stands. An improvement in dialogue between the club and fans. Ticketing process improvements. Better dispatch of away tickets. Cheaper season tickets. Uh, uh, now other events are at the stadium. Obviously, if all this extra money is coming in and we spend the money that comes in, the extra billion, hundreds of millions that are coming in, lower the season tickets. Why are we the highest, why are we the highest price in Europe? So I will carry on with this. Um, more chance for members to get tickets at reduced prices to not to not to all non-football events as well as football events. A clear understanding of the short, medium, and long-term plan for the football team. A better crossover between the men's and women's teams, both of which are one club. The list above we for some of the things we need to focus on, which are not necessarily in that order. We have just listed the main ones that we feel the fan base wants to uh, wants and needs the most, and I'll carry on. We hope to achieve these through clear communication with the board and usual channels such as email. We also hope to work co collaboratively, constructively, and positively with the THS tiered uh, an agenda and discussion points to bring the board to to bring to the board. Should we not achieve these results through these avenues? So remember, we are trying to do this peacefully and the right way. We are not violent. We are not. I'm going to get into what's happened with violence beforehand at Levy Houses from Levy Inners. Should these, should we not achieve these results through these uh, avenues? We will consider the possibility of peaceful protests both inside and outside the stadium, through potential planned walkouts, and I'm going to go into all this in shortly, and through possibly boycotting matches. As a group, we are open to all suggestions as to how we can uh, incite change and we want to encourage open and friendly conversation with the entire Spurs community to get the fan base heard of their frustrations about things happening at our football club. So that's the first statement that's coming out. So that is out now. And the group to go on to is at Change for Spurs. The other group, which is the main group that we started, Too Dare is Too Dear, and it's got an Enoch Out banner. So let, let's let's go digress a bit more. So the NFL protests, people need to understand, and Jack, I love it when I'm here with Jack, because Jack can speak to the people that aren't from North America or based in North America that I have the, the, the lovely blessing of being. The NFL, if they have any kind of negative press or bad publicity, whether it be through 
literally the fans reporting bad experience at the game, whether it be us getting on the cameras, and it's not going to be like the first one for the Super League, there will be a host of worldwide media where fans from a world the world can have their say. So they will swallow the club whole, the NFL. And if they even think about putting money out or say anything, that value of the club goes down immediately. Also, what fans can do, we are planning, and Jack, you'll remember when you were on a, a Two Brian show when we had Jake on, and we're talking about a walkout, and we said the 61st minute. For obviously, there, there's talks right now of the 61st minute for obviously the last time we won a double, or 20 years for obviously when Enoch took over. Now, obviously, it's a bit harsh to say 20 minutes walkout. What's the point of paying you thousands and thousands to get in there? When you are in there, stop buying beers, stop buying food, stop going into the club shop, because the only way they listen is by hitting the wallet. There are also, you look at the corporates, if people stop, these people have boxes and they take their clients there for dinners and to wine and dine them. It's a great experience in this new stadium. If it is constant booing, leave you out, leave you out, leave you out, do you think these corporates, are, their clients, are going to enjoy that experience? No. No. Yeah. What are they going to do? Mr. Levy, what the hell is going on? We're pulling out. The only way we can do this is by cutting them off at the money. I have said, like I said, everyone knows on this channel, I've come over from Toronto to make sure I'm here, like I said I would be. It's the only way we are going to do this. He knows what's about to happen. He knows. When you see what happened on that pitch yesterday, that I don't even really want to talk about. I'm still trying to come down from that. This isn't this this isn't about the uh, this isn't about the the performance. This is about what's going on. He's there counting his money. And another thing people may not know is the billion pound debt that we're in. That's in Tottenham Hotspur's name. All the property that's being bought around it is in Tavistock's name, which is paid for. There's no debt there. They own everything. But the £1 billion pound that we're in debt is in Tottenham Hotspur's name. Brad Matthews said something as well, that we ended up paying more for Top Romero than we did Tommy Esu, and look what's going on there. Enough is enough. There are, there are people, we've actually got people right now that are planning protests in the game as well as outside. It's also going to plan to be at every single home game. But the very, very first things that are happening is the NFL protest. I mean, there's that, that one at Villa, but we're not expecting huge numbers. I can't even get to it because I'm up north. But there is, there is going to be something. And Cody once said, what is it? There's a famous quote. Every, every journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Well, Sunday is the baby step. We need as many people. If you want change, I will die trying and fail rather than not doing anything. The time has come, and there are people in this chat that I know can't get there. I've had an American today message me about how to get the best out of a protest and who to look and what to do, not just, like, obviously get fans in numbers, but you need something of real power to do it. Like, looking up, look at these people that are doing everything on the M25. They're very, very clever. They've, and that this isn't just, oh, let's get 100 people together. They've got experienced planners that have done this and know how to do this properly which was a great idea. So we're now going to see there's, there's got to be a Spurs fan. There's got to be a Spurs fan that knows this is not this is not going away. This is honestly just the start. And like I said, the, after the performances we've had, it's just getting worse. I mean, or when I say worse, it's getting better for us because people are waking up. And to be stripped every single time we get somewhere and to be given lies and to broken promises and smoke and mirrors and every single time, there's only one or two, if you want to include the tax dodger over there in the Bahamas, there's only two people, but one common denominator. And with this money that's coming in for Gaga and all that, do people think we're going to spend big in January? But I don't. That money will go into buying something else, into Levy land. The time is up now. Anyone, and I do mean this, anyone that can get there, on Sunday if you're at the game, fantastic. And at short notice, I understand that. The 10th and the 17th, when the NFL are there, there is going to be such huge media coverage. 
that this is where it starts. Because if we can cut them off at the wallet, this is where it changes. Yeah. And it's got to be none of this, like we saw in all the other chats, leave you out, leave you out, yeah, I'm going, I'm going. And they're talking, not, not to, this is not a, if you're thinking of coming down and singing, oh, Mrs. Sissoko, or I don't even get me started on Delhi Alley, enough is enough. Don't start coming in the chats or, or saying, yeah, you're going to be there, you're going to be there. This is not a day out. This is not a piss up. This is not a, a violent fight. We, so when I was talking about violence, we all know, and I discussed what happened to Ben last week when we were at the Chelsea game. That's because he's Enoch out. The last protest, one of the people in my group got punched in the face from an Enoch in. We aren't there to cause problems. Yeah. We are there because over there in N17 where that big bowl is, there used to be a football club that all of us yeah. loved. All of us knew. It resembled something. It meant something. After COVID, football is people's lives. And it always has been. We have the most expensive season tickets when we were promised this wouldn't be. Yet it's more lies from this man. And the longer and longer people sit back and allow it, He's just going to muck you off and laugh whilst he's with Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua worth counting the money. Yeah. And it's enough. It's enough. And like I said, 10th and 17th, I will be there. Anyone has any questions, go to uh, change, for, uh, change for Spurs or um, to There Is To Dear. You can reach out to me at Brideagle, which is just B-R-I, then my surname. That's mm -hmm. on Twitter. That's on Instagram. My Facebook is just my name. Any information you want, because like I said, I have been like this for 14 years, and I swear on a stack of any holy book you want to give me, I will not rest until this is done. There are plans to do stuff in North America, Jack, when I get back, especially in Miami where Tavistock Central is and Tavistock's heartbeat is. There are plans for NFL headquarters. There are plans for Nike headquarters, also with Nike. If people stop bloody buying Nike merchandise in the, in the club shop, Nike will turn around and go, what the hell is going on? Why is our this our projected sales is this high last year? Why is it all? They will literally go apeshit. And yeah. if we, we all go mad about Levy's gentleman agreement, I guarantee you Nike, the NFL, and all the others have get out clauses, like the other teams do if they get relegated or mm. if they don't get Europe. So people saying, oh, they've got a contract, they've got a contract, they can't break it. The NFL aren't stupid like Levy. They're mm. not stupid. There are clauses. Obviously, with this message, it's literally getting the word out and getting as many people as we can to yes. stop this parasite and it becoming one trophy in 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. Him owning that entire... You, you do realise Enoch are buying up the entire area. Yeah, but even well, if you get them out of the club, they're still going to fuck people over the area. They're taking right. people's livelihoods. They're taking people's homes. They're taking people's shops. It's time for change. We want change. Please just come and help us in any way you size. Even if you can't come for the whole day, if you can come down for an hour, half an hour, fifteen minutes, and whilst I've got my two fingers here, I might as well sign up as I always do. Levy, out. <laughs>